kings of culture. What's going on, everybody? What, 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 what's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Steve. It's Steph Crystal. What's going on, everybody? What, what's the king of the happy days of the army? Yo, army. 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 Yo, I think I downed like two bottles of champagne and then I was. What's up with you and champagne? champagne. And yeah, then, yeah. You know that mess. That's probably what it was because that is it always tough on was. my stomach. It mm-hmm. probably was. Always gives me like the a, second a bottle belly did it. But I was I was chilling. You know I was just kicking it and I was just chilling. You said the second bottle did it. Yeah. Wait, you were drinking. I don't know, shit be so s- celebratory. Like, what were you drinking? Did you have your music on? Were you, yeah, like, you have yeah. your R&B on? Were, yeah, were you, like, were you like walking around the house some candles were like, lit? No. <laughs> like, well, no. This I, is how I, I, yeah, I, mean, I think no. champagne, I think yeah, a, right. a, a champagne flute with some, you know, candles in <laughs> the dark, the, the smooth R&Bs playing. Yeah, I feel like he had his R&B Yeah, on. I feel like you had a moment mm-hmm. or something. No. Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> I really but okay. did. I, I, drink, I drink a bottle a day. Of champagne? Of champagne? Yeah. Why champagne, though? Yeah, why? I don't know. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's unpack this really fast. Why, like, I, know, I want to be like, are you okay? But I can't even say that because okay, listen. I feel like... Listen, so you know, I gave up beer like and I'm liquor. Okay, that's good. So okay. I was like, I found a nice bottle of champagne. It's not expensive. It's actually the same price that I would spend on beer or liquor. Okay. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, I usually one. I drink
the, the here, you know, she was fine, and then she didn't wake up. So, you know, it was it was really sad because um, my little cousin's the only child. Mm. So I'm definitely gonna make an effort into seeing her more, like being more present. You know, I am a little, you know, two and a half hours away, but that's that's not so bad. That's not that bad. Yeah, so I can definitely, you know, spare a couple weekends to come kick it with her because now she's like alone. And then her dad, mm. my my big cousin, he lives in Florida. He's making his way back to the Bronx, but he lives in Florida, so. Um, you know, just being there, you know, it definitely, you know, sets, <clears throat> it definitely makes me aware of my mortality and how I need to be present every single day. Um, and another thing, yo, everybody watch your health for sure. Like, mm -hmm. you know, little aches and pains she might have had that she might have ignored might have been the reason why, she, you know, she passed, she ignored it and didn't get help for it. But, um, you know, she'll be missed, so... Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm notorious for that. You got it. Don't I you know? Wrong. I would yeah. I Let me tell you. I just kind of waited out. Um, a but. couple, maybe, maybe my 32nd birthday, the one we went to a uh, to a uh, cheesecake factory. Right. I remember you said, uh, "Yo, we should all do a honey roast," which is such a sweet idea, you know? Yeah. Not, you know, a, a honey what? roast. Every, a honey roast. What the fuck is a honey roast? We should have done one for <clears throat> Steve's. Or we yours. should have done one for Steve's or yeah. mine, but. What's a honey Y'all ain't that cute anyway. We would have been like, no, no, I think everyone would have been like, oh my God, Brittany, had I brought that up? Like, can let's do a honey somebody roast? Right, explain sorry, so to me every, what a honey roast a, is? A honey roast is um, something that my cousin um, does with her friends, and I just thought it was the cutest thing, so she passed it on to us. And it's on your birthday. Everybody, you know how you would do a roast? Maybe someone would roast you, and it's like a bunch of jokes about you. Oh, well, yeah. Honey roast is supposed to be like a sweet roast, like a bunch of really nice things. Nice about things. You. Well, my about point, you. yeah, my point bringing that up so. is that all the great things cute. yeah all the great things they said about her and they always like mentioned how she was just a tough strong woman she was she mm -hmm. was real tough but she was also really fun and smart and i was like damn you know we don't tell each other enough, enough. Of stuff when we're around mm -hmm. and it made me think like you know maybe you know we're all good friends and we're gonna be lifetime friends maybe we should start mm -hmm. that tradition there's no proof of that <clears throat> i'm a honey roast damn see <laughs> sorry I really Any, am droopy You know how I just, I was like, anyway. Thank you. Uh, yeah, like maybe <laughs> we could start a tradition. And you know how they say give your flowers while you're here. Because yeah. I want you guys to know. As it should be. You know, I don't want you to never know how I really feel about you mm -hmm. because you'll be gone. You know what I mean? So yeah. I want you to know now. And I think maybe we could start that tradition. You know, go around and be like, yo. I love Brittany because she's so Aww. she's so sweet, you know. I love that. I love Steve Ugh. because I love he, that. I love Steve because he's sweet it's too. A little don't sentimental let, don't let, side of you, right? Don't let the humbug, right? The humbug shit, grouchy. Steve is a sweetheart. Mm, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. anyway, but yeah, just uh, you know, <laughs> my point is sharing was just please, y'all. You know, be careful. You know, get your health check and tell the the ones that are still here that you love them every day. It's so important. Mm -hmm. What about you, Britt? Well, my week was absolute trash. <laughs> I had. Can we please get something where it's like, what else is new? Nigga, what the oh, fuck? No! That's you. She's a weed. That's fucking you and your yeah. negativity yeah. and your crazy ass. I have one hard podcast. Week. Hold on one sec. I'm sorry. Podcast listeners, I walked in today <laughs> and I was immediately met. With shit talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you even talking about? Oh, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, I, it was fucking immediate. I was, I was giving you your fucking props, but I was like, all right, Steve. You say, I was you expecting you. white hoodie, like, black or, you know, hoodie. your, or the black, you know, your usual. You got a nice outfit You came in, there. you came in, right? You came in a fucking little anime pop star looking <laughs> ass and shit. I was like, all right, all your K-pop, <laughs> yeah, all you're missing was the fucking black hair, jet yeah. black hair, but I was nah, like. Steve, you did. It's, it's, you look Right? All, you got the all white on. All white on. Uh, literally all white, you guys. You guys can't see his pants, Z but top. literally his yeah. pants are just all white, like slim pants. He's got skinny. the white skinny, yeah, skinny, skinny. slim pants. Yeah. And he's got the white, white Air Force on. Yeah. So, you know, I was First like, off, right, these are Pumas, see. not Air Forces. Sorry. All right. So the Pumas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. You should have let me skip the air for. Anyway, um, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that, yo. These things are comfortable as shit. Anyways, I was giving you your props. You wanna? No. Why don't you wanna say, act like I was dissing you? I was giving you your props. Oh, really? But I was. I was like, all right, Steve, something different. I you like it. A, it's nice. You could be a couple shades darker, I think. <laughs> 
I said that. Yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> I said just a little self tanner. <laughs> <and laughs> bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's exactly how Steve reacted, actually. Definitely. He's like, oh, you're racist. <laughs> that is actually I'm racist. What is word you? for word what he, what he said. Literally. But, I mean, there's nothing not wrong with just being a, getting a little bit of color, Steve. Some little self-tanner. I love self-tanner. I needed my I needed my... Ex- thank you. Shit. I didn't exclude myself. Let me anyways. tell you, my family... So, it was... Um, her name was Selena, the one uh-huh. uh, my... Uh, aunt that passed um her family was there and then my family and you know i'm puerto rican Mm -hmm. and uh black right Mm -hmm. so my so my own my puerto rican side is all like yeah we were talking about texas or whatever and how it's racist or whatever and they're like oh you could live there talking about me Uh because they're like you white you You white i'm like yeah and and colt was with me my boyfriend and i'll see see they call me white too (laughs) (laughs) It's okay. My own family. It'd be your own people. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted about my fucking week. Um, we do not you know, care. It's been a hard week. Wait, wait. You know what? <laughs> let her get it off. Let her get a shit off. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> y'all are fucked up um anyway, <laughs> anyways i was saying today when i got here i was saying to sam yo like what the fuck is up with today i know y'all we've been deprived it's been nothing but snowing cold dreary like today is a really fucking nice day Pretty like it's beautiful sun- out sunny Mm-hmm. sunny nice clear day and you know i went to pop over my friend's house before i came here and i get out of the car and there's this couple fighting across the street. I didn't think anything of them. I'm just like, all right, you know, you know, get my shit out. You know, I'm minding my own business. But then they're like, start screaming. And once she starts running down the street, and then the guy starts running after her, and all of a sudden he's like, boom, 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 like in the back of her head. And I was like, oh, oh damn, shit. And she was like, you know, kind of cowered in the corner. But what's her shit like? Like her shit was getting, she was getting rocked back her there. Shit, her, no, her shit from the back. At first, I thought they were playing. I was like, oh, they're, they're play fighting. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I swear to God, I would like wasn't like expecting a fucking did, like for him to really match. be beating her ass in the street. Like, have we come to that? Yeah. Like, it's has intense. have we really come to that? So I thought they were play fighting. I was like, oh shit. And then, but there's mad people outside. It's a nice day, like I said. Like, you know, like mad people outside. Like you're just gonna attack her in the fucking middle of the street like in the the daylight and just walk off he just walked off like anyways and she walked off and you know a lady pulled over like yo you all right you want me to call 911 and the girls just kept walking like she was good that's how i knew when you had told me that i was like that girl's used to that shit i was like because if she wasn't she would be like oh my head call the fucking cops right now right the fuck now i'm just like she walked away so yeah. you know that they're this is their this must be their usual, usual. Now, so i was like girl like and she's like well, they were fighting out there i was like it was crazy and so then i pull up to sam so we can do the pod and i come out and there's people just laying in the parking lot of the library i'm like <laughs> Yo, I was what, like, what is no, going on today what the fuck was that you saw that no what's wrong with people let me tell you yeah, like I, I, I people are i don't know so what. i say this all the time so listeners i so i live downtown so this is albany we live in albany new york so i lived downtown <clears throat> excuse me t- downtown albany for years it's right by the homeless shelter so there's a lot there's a lot of homeless but they don't really bug you mm. you know what i mean but i moved a little bit like up the street which you would c- kind of consider I guess Midtown, right? Crosstown, whatever. Mm, These right. crackheads mm, are mm. different up here. They are. They're fucking different. It's, it's a little weird. It's weird. I feel. It's I weird. always felt safe downtown. I was at the red light over here, just, and they were. He's just literally just. I was like, "What is <laughs> happening?" I turned the corner. I was like, "What the fuck?" They're, like, I don't know. They're different up here. I remember I just walked to the just store. Different. Just to walk to the store, Mm-mm. and one got close. I was like, eh, "Back up, the fuck!" <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, it's just exit for a quarter." Like he was getting in my space. Like I think I was on the phone with Brittany. I was like, "Ah, oh. you did, you did." It <laughs> was just fucked up because when we were driving one day, <laughs> we were driving one day. Some guy came up to my window, like knocked on the window. See, this is what I'm. <laughs> Saying, Not you know, people it was get in mad the middle me. of COVID. It was like 2020. <laughs> COVID had just fucking COVID had just fucking taken <laughs> over. We the world we was fucking we shut down. Yeah, I was like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, you too close. I don't know you. Why are you up? You could have 
COVID. It's like, like why? And I didn't want to roll down my window and this bitch acting like I'm too good to no, give. No, because I was like, she's she acting like I'm too good to give him a dollar. No, this is what she did. Like, I gave her a dollar to give to the... To, the fuck? To why? The, it's COVID out to, here. To the hobo. I gave her a dollar to give it to the hobo. And she's like... <laughs> she acting like I was like, get away from me, you bum. That's like, from me and girls. That never that's fucking happened. Said. I was not... It was that's COVID. I was like, get away from me because of COVID, that's not because... Said. Of said, your get away situation. From me. That's what you said. You said, ew, get away from me, you bad. <laughs> I did not say <laughs> so fucking said. stupid. Fucking I would bitch. never say that. Everybody anyway, knows I would so never say Brittany that. Tells, so, so, um, off that, but then Brittany tells me what, what she just saw before she came here, and it reminded me. Oh my God. <laughs> she we, she of loves a time. talking about this shit. She loves uh, talking about this shit. Because that shit was funny of a time that Brittany got into a fight outside <laughs> with her ex. What the fuck? So let's start from the motherfucking beginning. So I Jesus think Christmas. her, and, <laughs> I think her, her, I think her, and her ex were were fighting at the time, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a group of us. No, let me tell. Let me just start with a debate. Me and my ex were fighting at the time, but. Mm-hmm. We were finally kind of trying to work it out. We agreed we'd meet at a local bar over here in the area off of Lark. Um, yeah, because, you know, um, breakups, fights, bars. Yeah, that all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you go right, no shop. problems there. No problems there. But we were all out. We were all out this night. Yeah. And so, you know, we make up a little bit. We're like, all right, we agree. We're going to meet over, talk about it later. Um and meet at each other's houses later. So everything's straight. We are all at the bars. A couple other people. A couple other people. Um, do we mention her? Because she, she was um, on a couple episodes ago. Um, Bassie. Yeah. Bassie. Bassie, okay. Bassie so, was there. Bassie was there. And so we're all outside, and Bassie just starts going off. No, so um, this, this is what I remember. Hold on, before you start. Oh, Lord, we were wrap all, it no, up. No, no, we were all... Come on, Steve. <laughs> and, <laughs> Jesus, right. you, you know how long it takes y'all to tell no. a story? We, well, that's the best part of part, storytelling. Yeah, People gotta you fucking go. you know. Gotta build it up, you gotta man. fucking know Look, the time whole is fucking money. story. Time you gotta is know the basics. Money. Let's go. So listen, yeah, I remember yeah. it as we were all at the bar. He came in. Everybody was like ill because no one liked him, right? <laughs> I go to the bathroom. Mind you, it had to be like seven of us at the bar. I go to the bathroom for, for two minutes. I come out. Nobody's at the bar anymore. Nobody's there. all hell broke loose. All hell broke I hear people screaming outside. I run outside. I see Bassie trying to fight him like, yo, you got you a good fucking girl. Yo, you over here. You over here got a beautiful ass black queen and you playing her. All right. Yo, and then yo. what happened from and there? Because I was like. So then because. <clears throat> Best. Because everybody knows I don't like to get, I, I really don't like confrontation. I will, if need be, like I can get there, but I don't, I, I, I don't like confrontation. Like there's no reason for me to fight both of you guys in the street. But he was mad that I wasn't defending more him. aggressive uh, with defending him and coming at I my friend. I mean, she wasn't wrong. So he just decided to be like, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. So he starts to just break it off completely. And But, but he he's walking down Lark Street. <laughs> And she's He's following walking down Lark Street. Crying. I'm following him. I'm crying. I, this bitch turned, um, No, no, no. She turned into the Incredible Hope. I'm devastated. I was trying, I'm a bunch of... No. I feel everything. No, no, right, no. Guys? Like, I was trying to pull... I was trying to pull her... No, no. love of my life. I'm like, trying to pull Britney away. You know, so she'll keep embarrassing herself. Because she's like... Aah! Like, crying. Right? I'm pulling her. This bitch turns into the Incredible Britney. The strength of 14 men. I could... I was like, God damn. Britney, come on. No way. And she's like, no, no, are you fucking serious, yo? Are you fucking serious? I was serious? devastated, y'all. Devastated. I was devastated. And, you know, I was devastated so we to the point the, the cops were there yes, we and I'm the crying on the cops. Right? They're, they're, they're still, they're still crying. She's still crying. They're still arguing, yelling at each other. The cops pulls over. He's like, what's going on? He gets out the car. The weirdest part is he had no teeth. I don't understand why he, he, the cop had no. He teeth? had no. Teeth. Well, I don't know why you keep saying the cop had no. Teeth. I didn't. Did. I didn't recognize the guy. All I knew was his cop, and he was like, "Girl, you gotta let him no, go. You gotta let him go." He was like, He's like rubbing my no, back. I'm like, but I can't. I You're can't like, love him. Him. He's like, love He's like, him. You're like, you wouldn't want somebody to treat you like that. He had no teeth. I was like, what the fuck was going on? You wouldn't want nobody to treat you like that. He's like, go home, sweetie, go home. And then I was like, okay. And then I just kept walking up the street to follow him. We still following him. Still following him. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, like annoyed because I keep trying to pull her. She's crying. Her makeup. I'm she, like, babe, stop playing. Word. This I is what Brittany. You. This so. one Brittany used to wear like the lashes and then like the really nice thick liner. It was it was great. But yeah. that shit was like all down her face. All down my face. Near down. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, yep. it's 
not fair. So we're walking. We're walking behind him still. They're still yeah, arguing. This isn't done yet? No. no. They're still arguing. No. This this Nowhere this nigga says, go suck the next nigga dick. So yeah, Brittany, exactly. me and Brittany are like a I'm block just the audacity, away. the disrespect, yeah. mm-hmm. the every fucking thing. So I just lost it. So we're like a block behind them. Somehow Brittany turns into Speedy Gonzalez and fucking <laughs> runs <laughs> and pops this nigga in the I face said, with her keys. I ran really bad. With her <laughs> keys. <laughs> to the run. Yeah. I popped yeah. him with it, in the <laughs> face with her keys. This motherfucker. Bo- oh! His glasses flew in the street. Yo. I had to go get the... No, she hit... Watch your fucking mouth! His fucking glasses flew in the street. I went to go get him. He came back up for air because <laughs> it looked like she hit him with a yeah. haymaker. And Just, I, I, I can't tolerate no, disrespect, guys. That, no, that's my... No, that's, he he would deserve that shit. That, that was ridiculous. I, so th- I give him the glasses. He's like, fuck fuck these glasses throws them back in the street i'm like i'm not getting these again and then yo yeah Lord right, yo, and then they you. make up and then his brother tried to holler make up that night of course and yeah. his brother was like so 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 i'm like the fuck oh my God. <laughs> anyway on that note we, we gotta, gotta take a break, break. <laughs> So moral of the story is don't fight your you're more you're worth more than in that public yeah well don't Man, fuck that I regret it shit, I'll tell you what this shit is mm, stay out of people's it. business because they end up going back to the shit that they claim they don't like anyway so that's all well, that that's story what, proved to me. No. Yeah, I know. I mean, we did, technically, we did end up back but now together. she's let's stop, she, let's stop trying to but sugarcoat no, this. No, but technically, shit. you're right. But she got it together. She's starting to feel herself, and her self worth is more than some fucking dude she got to fight in the streets for. And she's no longer with him. So. Exactly. At a girl. But anyway, Steve, anyway, you never had an outdoor you fight. You never had never? a fight with your Just spouse out, 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 out in the streets. <laughs> no. Me neither. Stop the cap. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I did. All right, so I'm lying. I got into an altercation not with my girl, but because of her. So my my ex threw up in the back of someone's car. I was trying to clean it, and she decided to throw a fit. I told her to shut the fuck up. I'm cleaning it. Now, mind you, we were maybe, all really maybe, drunk. Yeah, I was like, we were all all really drunk. So we were just yelling at each other. And yeah, that was really it. She didn't swing on you. you didn't no, swing there was on her. No, no, what was I gonna swing on her for? What was I gonna swing on her? <laughs> so I, you are I, the type to. I feel like he's not the type to be like. No, that's what I love about Steve. Mm-hmm. He would he's never not, put his hands yeah. on a woman, even if she put her hands on him. I don't think you still would put your hands on a woman. The only time that happened was in middle school, and because he sucker punched me from behind. <laughs> And I didn't oh, know. I didn't know it was a girl. So you oh, did? you did? I didn't know it was a girl. You did hit a girl? Yeah. Oh, shit. I and, know. I, and I know people are going to say, first off, I was in fucking middle school. Look, I'm fucking shocked. No, I was in middle school. It don't school. matter, I'm telling you exactly. First off, <laughs> it does. That's where it starts. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and, and she came up behind me. And I can tell you exactly what happened. We were leaving the lunchroom. It was at Philip Livingston. We were hey, leaving the lunchroom. Livingston. All of a sudden, I get punched in the side of my fucking head. Mm-hmm. I immediately black out and just started swinging. I didn't know it was a girl until... You were swinging on this girl? Hell yeah. She, she said, fucking punched said, me. He said he didn't know she was a girl. I didn't know. <laughs> that tiny ass frame. You're just like... I did not realize... Fuck that. I was throwing... that tiny fist. I was throwing haymakers. You were throwing haymakers. I was fucking throwing right You pulled a Britney at the, at a girl? I didn't know. No, Britney hit that nigga with a... Oh, you kid. Like when, when she hit her accent <laughs> on, on Lark... That's why I said he had to come up from air. And he, I thought he was going to swing on her, and I got in between him, and he threw his glasses in the street. But anyway, I lied. I did get into not a physical fight, but, oh, my God, I've never... I'm the type where if I have an issue with who I'm dating out... We'll talk about it in the car, or we talk about it when we get home. I don't like to do it out in public, ever. Mm-hmm. But my shitty ex, as y'all know, I always talk about... He was a narcissist, so it's always a fucking show. So mm-hmm. one time we were at that same bar <laughs> that Brittany was, you were at, Britt, that damn bar. It's just meant for it. Yeah, and it was me and my friends, and uh, Kels was there, Gene was there, and we're all eating, and he had an issue that I was hanging out with them because mm. they were two men. 
whatever. I wasn't I, there that night. I was away, I think. You were gone. You were, you were in Long Island, this. I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Vast came a little later, but I was, I met them there or whatever. Mm. He had a fucking heart attack about it. Mm-hmm. Made a whole fucking thing, argued, was screaming with me outside. I was about to, I called him an Uber, like, a, pff, this is how stupid. Called him an Uber back to my house. I was like, here, just mm-hmm. take the Uber, go back to my house. This motherfucker was like, this thing over here is over here laughing. Point in a jean and then smacks Jean's phone out of his hand. Jesus. And then gets in Kels and Jean's face like this. But didn't do shit. Right. Like, so yeah, that was the only time. That was I, like your closest to yeah. arguing in public? Yeah. Because I don't. I usually just... Wait. Yeah, we go I feel home. like I've we just been in house. relationships with like a lot of narcissistic, right. toxic men that... Mm-hmm. Don't mind arguing in public, like exactly. That's what that I'm saying. My, my ex, ex was that. toxic and narcissistic, and that's yeah. what it boils down to. Like, yeah. they, I swear they like a show. They fake that. This is the worst because a, a mature person isn't going to do that. You don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want mm-hmm. people in your business. But what? what all right, I have a question. Mm-hmm. What? what if what you're doing is making him embarrassed? He tells you that it's making him embarrassed, but you go, "Well, I don't think it's embarrassing." So he tries to tell. So, for instance, just because you think something's not embarrassing, if he thought it was embarrassing, does he have a right to tell you that he thinks it's embarrassing in public? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. but, I, but th- that's what I'm saying. But I would think his you maturity would think level, that he wouldn't want to. That he he'd be do, like, let's save it for when I uh, whole go, let's thing for when we get home. home. I'm gonna talk to you. And about no, again, you're missing my point because sometimes, so sometimes things oh, you need mean, to be like done on the spot. Drunk. Like if, you mean, yes, yeah, sometimes like things need drunk. to be. I'm sorry, but sometimes things just need to be said on the fucking spot. Fair, but. I if guess I'm with somebody you... and she's acting like an ass, well, if I feel like she's acting like an ass, I'm going to tell her on the spot. And then if she's, the, it, it, I will tell you this right now, I'll fucking leave a chick right there. I'll be like, all right, I'm out then. Well, I've never been in it. that situation. Yeah. I've been more on the side of the guys making a big, big deal, deal out of it them and, the and them ones. being the embarrassing ones. Mm-hmm. And then I just get fed up of the disrespect and then I act out. Exactly. So that's... She's, just get, she's just doing what's giving to her. Exactly. But same thing. But yeah, so. I get what you're saying, Steve. I guess I maybe it's how you say it, your tone of voice or how you say it. But if, no, a, if it, a person's having a good time, right? If a person feels like I'm just having a good time, nobody wants to hear Debbie down or like, hey, baby, we right. should cool it down, chill. Stop that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, yeah. So as long as it doesn't, so as long as it, if it ruins your fun, then fuck it. Fuck what he thinks. It's not that. It's I mean, actually exactly what so, you said. So okay, for example, talking? like, no, it's not that. If what to, what are you talking about exactly? Like, if she's being like, let's just ignorant, say. All right. So, for instance, let's say you know she's out. She's, or being, she's being a little or extra maybe, loud. Like, like or say maybe she's she, like overly drunk. Maybe overly drunk and like acting inappropriate. Like, she could be doing the most. Doing the she's most. Drunk. She could be a tad bit too flirtatious. Okay. I've seen that happen. Okay. Where well, a guy will be different. like, yo, yo, you kind of like. That's something Chill, different. Relax, sit well, down, yeah. like, relax. Okay, that's fair. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's not like I'm cheating. But she on isn't in her right mind. We're talking about people who, yeah. well, personally, at the time. I'm sorry, but my, every story I heard didn't sound like anybody in their right mind. No, <laughs> I, but I was just ex- about Including to say, me. in my own, oh. but in my story I just told, nobody was drunk. That's the crazy part. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> Well, still. And he, he I wasn't drunk. I was just fucking. Yeah, uh, nobody was even drunk in her story. Love, so. Yeah, nobody stupid was enough. Even, fair enough. Because I was there, and um, yeah. But no, mm-hmm. these. But these are the men we're talking about. Like this. Yeah. Is, he's like my ex. You met him. Y'all both met him. Yeah. Narcissistic prick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anything would trigger him. So you know what I mean? I know. I triggered him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For yo, no fucking reason. We were doing the pod one time. It I was like. We, this is when we Aisha, very first started. Shout this out to Aisha. Ago. Mm-hmm. Ish was there. She was, she was a no, guest Sam, on the This was before that one. This was okay. even before Ish was on that. Maybe, yeah, maybe. We were talking about something, and then I said, yeah, yo, like, <clears throat> when you fuck a chick, like, from the back, and then you stick an apple in her mouth, that's no, kind of freaky. No, uh, a tomato in her mouth. Or a tomato in her mouth. But we were talking about fuck? farming. Or <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about. I don't know what why. It could no, deadass, he was so That's what mad happened? At yeah, yes. he got mad at He was he apparently left, mad at me. Yeah, he was so mad. He, um, when Steve left, he was just like, I don't know about this podcast. I'm like, you don't think tell me what the fuck to do? That's so, I don't know hey, about this podcast. It's not like it's going anywhere. You can look at us now. You were. Well, I don't, he can't because he's oh, clink, clink, yeah. behind bars where he belongs. Because I don't know, again, I don't know what to do with narcissistic people. 
I don't know. They need to go to an island. They're like the the literal definition they're of the worst. evil people, bro. And I don't know what can, unless they can acknowledge that they're narcissists. They can't. That's the that's yeah, the problem. That's the problem. But get yeah. some help, like full medication, full therapy. These people are full menace to society. They will literally drain the life out of good people. Like that's what they do. Terrible. Mm. Mm. Anywho, well, I do have a question. I'm, I'm curious. Um, have you guys? Oh, first, can I share something that I was thinking of? And it's like I have like random strange thoughts at work sometimes. Wait, then you wasn't the segment? Well, wait. Steve oh strange yes. Thought. So I want to start a new segment. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, everybody, I'm calling this the Steve Strange Thoughts segment. segment. And I was in the cooler at work, and. I farted, right? Oh so, God. hold on, listen. But I was thinking, I'm like, huh. If you fart in a, if you fart in a, in a refrigerated area, does it stay fresher? We ain't about to have a whole segment. <laughs> no, I'm really asking I got about. your ass wind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, right? Right? Oh, nah, because like, it was nah, was either like it was just extra juicy or it was Wait, just... Wait, so you had wet ass? ass? It, it, it was kind of like... You know, but no, there was no swamp Steve. ass involved. <laughs> I, I promise you. It was just, you know, it was just a good one. And then Are you one of those people that like to smell their farts? No, 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 no. <laughs> you like let it go and you're like no. waiting for it because you're like, yeah, that We're not going to do this. We're, we're, not gonna do this. we're all not going to do this. All right. Like, like, no, Everybody's like, had what that the time fuck is wrong where the stomach's you? hurting and you let like, go like, and fart and you're... and you're just like, oh, I feel so much better. I just got this fart out of me. That's what happened. I was like, oh, my stomach's kind of hurting. I farted. I felt better. You've been having some stomach issues. Like, and I'm uncomfortable sitting next to you right now. I swear you have a stomach bug or some stupid <laughs> shit. Something is wrong with you. Nobody wants to catch you. I please, told you this was a strange please. thought. I wasn't joking. Steve Strange thought. It wasn't this just is... a, a, a catchy uh, segment is... name. I really fucking thought about it. I was like, yo, it's been 10 So you minutes. mean, was it more fragrant, like No, it like, didn't like, last longer because it was like 10 minutes and I could still smell it. Uh, you know what, Steve? When you fart, it's so you just wanted to really bottle it bad. up or some shit. I don't you know you what? You know what? At Ninety Day Fiance. <laughs> there's this girl Stephanie who is on there, and she was a fake lesbian, and she said she was like trying to get with this other girl on there, but never like they met, and they weren't even a tr like. She didn't want to like really kiss her or do anything. Go it was down the on weirdest her, fucking nothing. thing. It was the weirdest thing. But anyway, she went down in history as 90 Day Fiance um, fucking fake lesbian girl who was on the season. But <laughs> she is selling fart jars right now. Uh, and people, she's a millionaire bruh. for some off fart? of these fucking fart jars. Yo, there's some sick like, fucking so people, Steve, I feel like that might be a market <laughs> for you. I, f I could see you going on there and be like, yo, Stephanie, find this shit. Like, let me, uh, let me order a jar. Yeah, like, Steve, I can see you doing that. Yo, right it would be called Steve. About, like, it would be called Steve's Secret Smells. <laughs> like, but this bitch that's was getting funny. sick to make herself fart enough to fill these oh, jars. That's, that's like, no, there, the, again, can we just, that's a lot. Can we just break down? That, like, how does that work? You just it, open it up and like, like yeah. it, it doesn't still. <laughs> it smells. Wait, still but you gotta there? close the lid really fast. Like, you're like ooh, you don't wanna let like, that go. Like, you don't wanna ah, let that. I wanna save that for later. You're just buying fucking anything, yo. yo. Like, people, the they're so sick. This is why I wanted to. Yeah, this is why I want to bring that segment up. So maybe she farts. Funny? I'm, I'm just asking. Maybe she farts in the fridge and makes her shit. Yeah, maybe like stop yeah, it. She no, I'm being not dead ass It preserves the, it fart preserves smell. the smell. Stop, stop. I, I wish I could hear from one of the people that be buying these jars. Why? 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 Because I want to know. You open the shit. Does it smell? Does it smell bad? Still, is it, are you Yo, jerking off? I would never want to like, talk to one of them. I sick just want to know. I want to know. Like what? I don't understand. So I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just trying. I mean, can we? Wait, hold on. Actually, can I just ask a question? Can I ask a question? What? What's that? This? Oh, you can talk about your fucking farts. <laughs> and, and still smelling oh, after wait. ten minutes. I, I I'm mean, bringing up this bitch who fridge. makes. I'm bringing up this bitch who makes fucking fart jars. Like, and I'm but just wondering. Brittany, here's my thing. She got a bad. You're, you're. I, I find it funny that you're disgusted by that. But this coming from yeah, the I'm Blumpkin. Disgusted. I'm, that doesn't mean. <laughs> Fuck no! I don't give no damn 
plump him? I think you said you did. I didn't. I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I never <laughs> fucking said oh, that. My bad. My bad. My nigga, what the fuck? My bad. I never said I that would want to give a plumpkin. I never said I was interested in giving a plumpkin. I never said none of that shit, nigga. That my shit bad. is nasty. So ruler about That's this nasty. line, but plumpkin, no. Absolutely not. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. But That's not my I thing, mean, and that's not. That's okay if that's what you like. But then, not for me. That for me. That no, nah, no. Nah, I, 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 I get. It was what just a question. Listen, I, I, I get what Britney's saying as far as like, yo, I wanna. And I can't. It's the I like, can't, like. It's the curiosity in me that wants to interview one of these sick motherfuckers and be yeah, like, I need to, "Why I, do you like I need farts?" To know. And I want to know if it smells still inside. Like, are you paying for a jar of just no, air no, now, no, or no. Are you like no. opening it and it doesn't really smell? No. <laughs> I don't know, yo. I need to know. I this just wanted to know. This is some sick motherfucker. So. But yeah, there. I thank you, Steve, for bringing it up because it made me think. I'm like, you, f- you feel like one of those customers. I feel like you oh, no, would have bought one of her fart. He would give yeah, out I feel the like he would have secret bought one of her fart jars because she's an attractive girl. <laughs> I can see you on there, especially now with your fucking strange thoughts segments talking about <laughs> his fart lingered on for 15 Word. He's like, minutes. I was just inhaling like, <laughs> <laughs> woo, it's still there. Like, <laughs> no, that's not. Like, that was a good one. That was a good one. Shocked. Woo, that smells I was, I was like, shocked because I was like, wow, like I farted like about 10 minutes ago and it's still kind of smells in here i was like i wonder if the refrigeration's keeping it fresher and that was C's secret <laughs> <laughs> that's all i thought that was it. <laughs> and then we just went on a fucking shit-a-thon for us for some reason we talked about not. poopy jar face over here we... and i don't fucking know why she would think that i Who's i don't even poopy jar you <laughs> Fuck. I don't know, Brittany, because I can see you You're selling. You're just making I it up. I can see you selling poop. I don't fucking know. Selling now I'm poop? selling poop now. I don't know. Steven, <laughs> really? Yeah, you call this bitch a blub kid. <laughs> now she's just, selling he's shit. Trying to, he's, he's reaching for straws. He's just trying to <laughs> grab it for to, straws. Yeah, he's just fucking trying to <laughs> fucking Look, I told you I wasn't put it feeling out so hot. So, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not on my A game right Wait, now. Wait, so... You wouldn't sell fart jars, Steve. Since no. your shit's just potent. No. Just... No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't sell them? The no, I wouldn't. Killer... I don't know if there's a lot of Come on, out Steve. There. I gotta keep First of all, you right. wouldn't even do the 600 pounds. We gave you. Se- okay, let me paint a scenario. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. So Watch this should... take 10 minutes. Go ahead. Nah. You, you know. So, somebody hit you up for listen they listen to this episode they were like damn I didn't know Steve's shit was lethal you get one of those <laughs> sick, mo- sick motherfuckers that's asking for you to jar up your farts for 10 G's a fart you not doing it oh it'll be UPS next day alright so what you talking <laughs> Exactly. Try to front like you wouldn't do it. I'd do it. I mean, I wouldn't do it for like 50 <laughs> bucks. Like $100 a jar. All right, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, I'll do it. Lie. I'm trying to get on Feet Finder. That's all I know. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. I was like, people's making money on Feet Finder. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we got to do. Yeah, yo. Okay, we got to like, do it. Steve, Steve's going to sell farts, but it's going to show feet. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> She is going out as an Ice Spice inter- uh, impersonator. impersonator. So, hey, if you're looking to book Ice Spice the, Light I just gotta, uh, for any birthday party, EBT she's right here. EBT Ice Spice, I'm right here. Um, I'm they gonna, don't know the difference. I'll buy the butt pads, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got it. <laughs> She'll never know the difference. <laughs> she comes in the party. Hi, guys, it's Ice Spice Light. I'm, I'm like, here. Hi. She's she still very, here? like... Yeah, and I feel up? like she's yeah. mad short. She's short. Yeah, she's probably like your height. You're super tall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I at this damn mm-hmm. funeral? I'm. I'm. Listen, listeners. I'm only five six. I say this shit all the time, and I did wear a heel, which maybe gave me two more inches. Mm-hmm. I'm told that every motherfucker out there, they're like, "Are you a model?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, I'm just <laughs> tall." <laughs> I didn't know my whole family's all five three. <laughs> and then your hair probably made it no better. Even taller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I did want to uh, ask this one thing. You know, have y'all ever heard of uh, Passport Bros? No. You know what that is? No. Nah. Yo. Bang Bros? What? Huh? <laughs> passport Bros? I said, passport, I said, passport I said bros. Bang Bros. Uh, um, no. No, no, it's not. No, no Steve. pervert. No, Steve, I don't know. All right. So, <clears throat> Passport Bros are men who travel and go to other countries um uh, and typically end up staying and marrying there. 
Mm. So mm. they purposely leave here to go. So 90 Day Fiance the other way. Basically, oh. yes. Couldn't tell I loved 90 yes. Day Fiance, but yes. So 90 <laughs> so Day Fiance. So it's basically the other something way. like that. So let's say, you know, yeah. let's say, it, for instance, the Philippines are very popular. For mm-hmm. them. Yeah, they are. Um, especially like retirees. Yeah, it's horrible because things like that. What? They're so racist. Anyway, so <laughs> you had one bad experience with a Filipino. They're so fucking racist. I'm sorry. They're, I'm sorry. Okay. No, but that you bitch did put, only me, have that one bad experience. put me through hell. No, but I got jumped by like five of these niggas. But they were probably not Filipinos. They were Filipinos. Filipino. They weren't Filipinos. Those, Those were Vietnamese. Were yeah, they were. Yeah, they were Damn stuff. you, fuck you, went, bitch. You I don't care. You know what? She had her friends. She had her family over. This and all of these niggas hate basically okay, Brittany's so just saying I, that they all look alike uh, yeah pretty all much. right and first and foremost Brittany, just because they bullied you you don't have to bully me bully all right that's what you did when i walked in there all right so i gave you your props steve i thought you looked good i was well, like all right steve that doesn't need to be said. given anime given k-pop yeah um, all, right. all right so basically that's what a pass for <laughs> row is they they're like yo fuck the states i can't i don't want to I don't want these. American okay. women. I don't want an American woman. I want to. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna live my life over here, and that's. And the they difference. do that in the Philippines a lot because they're based out of there. Actually, that's how she met. She was married to a white guy, then they had met over in the your Philippines. Ex, your your first my um yes my first mother. boyfriend's mom oh, yeah okay. the one who hated me because I was black but yeah she um she married uh the white guy because he was based out of there so. And he was in the army? He or? was in the army. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. So, so I could see that that happening a lot. And you know they're probably looking to come to America. So No, they don't come over. So That's so the thing. You yeah, stay so he's there. Staying here. So he's staying there. But then the other way. No. But, Wait, hold yeah. on. So these men from America. Yes. Say I'm done with American women. I'm done with American women. And they fly to whatever country and marry a woman out there and mm-hmm. stay and there? stay there. Oh. Which I feel like is some fetish shit going on. Ah, that is weird. Ha, ah, I feel hold like it's on. some fetish I'm so yeah. glad that okay. you said that because I'm curious yeah. as to why you feel that way. What do you mean? Why would that be considered a fetish? Do you know what a fetish is? Godzilla. Really? What is it? Culture, do me a favor. Can you look up <laughs> fetish for her, please? <laughs> I know what a fetish is. She doesn't okay? know what a fetish is. I do know what a fetish so is. So then say it. It could be, but I don't know no, if it's no, necessarily, it I'm not going to say it's weird what because a I like uh, some stuff that could be considered weird okay, to other so people. Okay, so a fetish, a See? form of sexual desire saying. in which gratification is strongly linked to a particular object or activity or Thank a part you. of the body other okay. than a sexual of, organs. That okay. has nothing to do with, I find this particular No, because group. there's, there's women. No, 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 no. There's no, race. I'm not buying that because we got anime porn. Yep. Yeah. We got fucking. That's different. We got fucking niggas jerking off the car. That's, that's a, different. We got fucking that Asian porn. We got literally a whole category for exactly what the and fuck I'm talking see, about. Hold on. They're fetish. Oh, right. they're not a so, fetish. No, no, no. Because there's little people have a fetish for little people. That's true. That, right. That's the foot thing. fetishes. The foot fetishes. There's fetishes fucking, for, for race. Like there's it's men the same who thing, have Steve. a fetish. So, so why, that, have so a why fetish are you considering that? Like, hold on. You're not considering not that a thing. fetish <clears> and not a preference. What if he just prefers it? It like, seems like he's I settled. prefer it seems these like... type of women over um, here I don't know over that... the type of women in but the But that's state. all you want. You're not even going to like be open to it. That's what I'm talking about. You're so obsessed with one type of woman mm-hmm. that you're not that's even willing to open it up. That's a fetish. Oh, really? Obsessive. Obsessive. Oh. Yes. Listen to what oh, she's yes. saying. Sorry. Obsession. Yes. Obsession. Coming Obsessive. from the woman who's openly I, said that she only dates one type of person. That's not what so she then said. you have a fetish. Thank you. That's not what I said. Yeah, actually, it's exactly I said what you when fucking I said. Meet no, you are guy. fake news. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. She didn't I said say if that. I met one, I'm open to meeting anybody else of the opposite race. She has a preference. I have a preference. But she doesn't have a but fetish I'm for open. black men. Exactly. Thank you. I'm open just, to dating so, so, all okay. types of so races. So I'm glad you said that. So every time women <laughs> do certain things, so they'll say, oh, you just like them. It's a fetish. So then you do the same thing. Well, I only date this type of man. That's not a fetish. I didn't What's say the that, difference? though. I said I was open because I said I was open. So if I'm saying I'm open to dating all, right. dating all but types. They, so, you're, so you're taking all you're doing. You're just taking these guys. They're just saying that I'm just done with the Western women mentality. They go somewhere. And that means all races, right? Because yes. There's yes. Yes. They don't. It's colors. the mentality that they're having the problem with. It's not. Okay. It has That's nothing fair. to do with skin complexion. Okay. It has nothing to do with if none you, of that. You ain't explain it that way. I can get with that. But that's what it is. Okay, well, okay, you can explain Steve. it that way. But so I can get with I'm that. Glad, but, but no, you guys did exactly what I see all the other women but you telling can, them. How, we're going off the got, little you information you're saying. So I'm trying to tell you, if you would just... Shh. 
So. Hold up. Let him. Thank you. The only reason why. So the reason why I want to ask y'all is, do you think it's right for women to come at these men who are just like, you know what, guys? I don't want to deal with this no more. I'm just going to go over here and find find what I believe to be true love and for a woman to treat me the way that I feel that I need to be treated. What is your take on it? And do you think that it's right for women to start bashing <laughs> these dudes, tell, tell, calling them fuckboys, saying that they weren't even wanted anyway, and then have the nerve to even refer to those women as uh what passport bitches or some shit like that like well and and i have to i, I just want to say this mm -hmm. so they're passport poppies uh, i they guess wish. you could call it that uh, <laughs> passport so poppies. so but i'm like hmm you know it, i i just sit there and find it funny because if you I, I find it funny that women get so animated about men that they claim they don't want but always still feel the need to tell them how much they don't want them um, well, again, I, I would take it as the same way as colorism or interracial dating. We don't give a fuck as long as you ain't talking bad about the latter. That's the issue we have. So, boom, you said the men don't want Western women. They don't like the values of Western women. Yes. They go overseas. That's fine. But not every second. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this Filipino woman rubs my feet. Oh, but the Americans don't. This mm -hmm. Filipino woman cooks. Oh, but the Americans don't. Every fucking, at the end of every sentence. As long as you don't belittle and demean the latter, we could give two shits. Two fucks. But that's not what's happening, though. Like, but then, so, so so they have to. They have a part to play in it. These passbook poppies are bros. No, no, like, no. I think honestly, I think the it. women who are commenting mm -hmm. on the men who are choosing to do this. I'm not going to front. I've thought about it. Mm -hmm. I've actually thought about it. Dating, just from another the, country. Yeah, just leaving. I I would love to leave here and never come back. I don't know, man. Where are you going? Where? Yeah, like where would you? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to travel. Where, where would you really want? Right. I would like to travel. But so, where would you where really want to go? I don't know. You see, to leave I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you where I want to go. I'm not going to tell you where I want to go until I've already been there. It's easy to say I want to go here. I want to go here. I've never been there. But, but you're I, so. But you were very quick to be like, I would leave. Like, I, would I would never come back. No, Sam. I, that's honestly my. Goal. I'm gonna tell you, we've all been to Jamaica. I love Jamaica. Mm -hmm. and am I just gonna run up and live in Jamaica mm -hmm. full time? Like people do it all the time. Oh no, they do that's it all great. The time but... and that's great. But I'm asking you, <clears throat> like a couple of days, you're just gonna leave America and be there forever. Like this. No, is... first off, that's a thing you plan out years in advance. This is like five years later on. No, if I don't the guys, the, the men you're speaking of sound like they went there on a vacation no, for a no, few no, no. weeks and uh -huh. then and they well, just found it to be great to... and then went back and then said, I'm done. That's, that's well, a huge okay, decision. Yes, that happens mm -hmm. too. That's so a huge that happens decision. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I could definitely, I, I, cause it's I was, like a run away from your problems kind of thing. Nah, it's, it's not. See, that's what I hate. It's not running away from your problems. Uh, it just seems irresponsible. It's, that's it's, all. It, what? How? I said, it just seems. That's all I said. It's how is it irresponsible? He's not leaving any kids behind. He's not leaving. Leaving a wife, he's not but leaving are, anybody. You know. Okay, fair enough. But before we get into it, we gotta take a break. And we're back. Hey, yo. All right. So. But yeah, th there's. I thought about it though. Yeah. I really have been thinking about it, and again, I want this to be understood. It's not like I'm saying fuck all the women here and like I'm not trying. I'm just saying that if it doesn't end up happening, well, Steve, don't be surprised apps? when my ass right. fucking you, leaves. Steve, what are you doing to put yourself out there? Right. Are also, you on dating apps? Are you um, trying to go out and meet new women? Are you right. going places? You really have to. Unfortunately, these days we have to put ourselves out on there the internet. and yeah. on the internet because internet dating and dating online is like seems to be the number one way and it's all to... bad honestly why is she talking to me like she's talking to her child <laughs> What you, but she's got that, a point. I'm trying to help doing? you out. Well, I'll like, say this about there. these like, Are you out there in uh, the street? Yes, because you're talking about if you don't meet anybody in five years, you're moving to fucking know, Philippines. Right? So I'm over here like, shit. thank you. You're not that guy, Kyle. Trust me. You're not that guy. meet somebody. Thank you, Kyle. Like, what the fuck are you doing to meet somebody here? Like, come on. Because we're on the subject of these passport daddies or bros or whatever the fuck you want to call them and it seems like they just That's gave up we don't know we don't know let's, let's see, say I, this why do, okay so when women go and do it 
Cause yo, I think it's we crazy ja- too. When we were in Jamaica, oh. did we not meet some people who met some people over there and then ended up being in a relationship? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I so think it's crazy. Difference? Wait, why is that? Why is why is that bad? I know, but bad? she's been going why back every bad? time. As a matter of fact, I have to show y'all later. She did send me a picture for all of us. She loves us. She does listen she to the great. pod. Hey. We love you. I take, hey, I take. Yes, but she she is in a successful, happy relationship with this little this young little guy, dad, right? Little young, this little long, right. young dude down there. She looks they look good fun. too. No, no, she looks great. Uh, no. So, I mean, it happens. I mean, if I went down there when we were in Jamaica and, you and met I met somebody and it was like instant connection, like we felt it. You automatically, you just feel it. Your soulmate love at first sight. Hit the ball out of the fucking stadium. Ballpark type of like, what was that movie back then? It Takes Two with Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Oh, they were like, Lord. They were like hit the, hit the. Thank um, you. But yes, if I <laughs> felt that type of love, like, yeah, I would have been like, y'all. And I didn't have any kids. Like, this had to be a whole new um, world. Like, no kids, but- no nothing up in America. I've been like, <laughs> I'm going to use my fucking password, stay here for that. That's true. 30 days, I'll see y'all later. If, like, if I'm you, staying in Jamaica. I mean, Brit has a point. If you don't have much responsibility back right. home, why not? Why not? That's but my point. I think it's crazy. Why not? But my thing is, I think it's uh, a risk either way. Me, you know, me, mm-hmm. I'm more hesitant. And, and I, am I, you know, I, I feel like We're I have logic. Kind of so I'm a little bit more hesitant when things like that. So I think it's a crazy idea. Mm-hmm. But people do all the time. There's fucking shows about it. 90 Day Fiance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got sorry. women with kids. The saddest part, women with kids kids willing just leave to just willing to leave men with men with six because their kids can't come yeah so. that don't or the men and, and vice versa and mm-hmm. they have kids in their country and they're just gonna come to america uh, yeah and be like i so. gotta make a better life for you like i, I don't know but, man like, but i just you know in wrapping that part up like i was just like because that's exactly what you do you go there you don't bring them back here because they eventually they're gonna they end up like the girl's that you were running away from. I don't think that's it, That's true. exactly what happened. And also, no. it does. It happens all the First time. First of all, they have totally different customs. It's, a, yeah. it's like a culture shock when it's they get It's a different here. culture. You know, sometimes there, matter of fact, there is a, a, a Korean woman that works, that is an employee, that works at my boyfriend's job that just, she still, she still hasn't really, it's still culture shock and she's lived here for like 25 years. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Either way, I was thinking about it. I looked into it. I might. Looking into what? Way. Where are you going? The I don't know yet. You gotta have an idea where you want to go. Where you're going the I mean, I'm this definitely, I'm definitely going, like, somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere this year. You going I'm where? I'm going somewhere this year. Oh. Okay. Wait, uh, I know you liked London. Yeah, no, that's on the bucket list, but that doesn't count. It's, it's just it's so the same cold. values. It's the, the same values. Yeah, and it's just so cold and gloomy out there. And honestly, like, Europeans uh, annoy me. Do they? Yeah, they're fucking smug for no reason. Is it smug or... They're just assholes. And they act like they did nothing in human history to fuck shit up. (laughs) Dead ass. Like, I fucking... I would think they would be crippled with, like, colonial guilt. (laughs) Like, you know, every time an American... Because when you're fucking... Every time a black American comes, they, like, worship us. Because it's like, we know we did that to you. Because... We sorry. Their fucking nose is so (laughs) fucking high up in the air that if it rained, they drown. Like, they're just... (laughs) Thank you. That shit was... I don't know. Like, they're just uppity for no reason. Not all of them. I think because they feel like they're royalty. Yeah, just in yeah. uh, their exit. Ooh, ugh, uh-huh. Terrible rappers, too. Mm. Except for the females. The males suck, but the females are good. So not London. <laughs> <laughs> so not London. Okay. So Probably. London's out. Probably London's not. out. Honestly, yeah, I would love just to get like a nice little cabin somewhere. Fucking, as long as I had like a little bit of internet access, I'm happy. And this is all if you don't find somebody. If I don't, if I don't end up finding anybody here, I definitely could see myself going somewhere else. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I don't require much. Yo, know, listeners, Steve's a fucking. This nigga ain't got no kids. He got a job, a good job. He's got a car. He got his own place. Hey. Come on, man. This this motherfucker is a catch. And my podcast. And he got a podcast. Yes. And he's he's fun. Come on, man. Somebody holla at us. Put it in the comments. Nah, it's okay. Put it in the comments. No, no, and, I'm, no, and I promise you, and I promise you, this is not in like In the comments. A, this is not a like, this is not a, this dude's a come on, ladies, you. come and get See, me. See, you want to take two minutes and tell, tell, <laughs> tell, tell the viewers, the viewers a little bit about don't you yourself. Ever, uh, don't you ever take out your lollipop you like wanna... that and do that to me ever again. <laughs> ever again in your fucking life. I don't know why that just triggered me. <laughs> She's like, 
<laughs> so why don't you go on there? I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. And that uh, just, let the audience me. know. <laughs> I don't know why that fucking just pissed me off for a quick second. <laughs> go on, Steve. No, because this, this is not a cry for there. help, and this is not me casting I'm not my saying out. it, oh, but... This has nothing I, to do with listen, that. I promise you. You my look, guy. I'm just trying to get you... Look, I promise you. I'm trying you. to get you that wife and kids you want. And this motherfucker want to settle down. Like, it's like, he want kids, he want a wife. He's like, come on, man, you bitches. <laughs> look, this guy's a catch. Look, like I've been telling everybody, I am just the person that everybody should be with, but no one... Will I think it's it. you. I'm starting to believe it's you. You really think it's me? Yeah, I think it's you. I think that you don't allow yourself to be happy. Mm -hmm. That is so not true. I'm that's serious. Mm -hmm. Because you have all the great qualities to make a woman happy, but I think you hinder yourself. We've had this talk before. I don't think you so. say mm -hmm. you say the wrong things. Oh well, duh. What the but fuck? But it seems intentional, almost like who? No, to, like you want to keep who the woman hasn't that said you, something wrong? Okay, but the woman you're dating, right? I would imagine she is a 10 to you. Yes. But you would easily call her an eight if she asked. Yes. Why? Because she asked me. But I, that doesn't make sense. I'm she's not. A, look, I said she's a 10 I to view you. it as a 10 doesn't mean anything. Mm -mm. So you, wait. Yeah, that's your issue. No, you should, should, they're and I can't immediately, and, and automatically. So what? I don't always. walk. I don't. I don't ask anybody to rate me a ten to be with me. That's not what she asks. So, whoever is with Brittany, I imagine when they see her, she's a ten. To yeah. Them. And when she asks, they say, "Of course, you're baby, you're a ten. I love you." Yeah. You tell the girl that you think is a ten that she's an eight. You mm. didn't explain why do you do that. Damn. Damn! Mm. Um, well, first she asked me at that particular moment and I said eight. Why? Because it was an eight. In that moment or yes. overall? The moment. That's not what she that, you, you know what she was asking. Be, exactly. So there, there might be some days I come in my sweats and I look like shit. shit. And, you Your know, man is, we're not going to be dressed just, up every day. You exactly. got to love... You know, you're going into a partnership, like a relationship. You got to love your partner each fucking stage. They're not going to look fucking... I didn't ask Beyonce. 10 fucking oh, every yeah. fucking oh, day. I didn't yeah. say it. And I didn't say we're be a 10 sick, every day. We're going to be tired. We're going to be doing dishes. We're going to be sleeper and want, be like... Hold on. I want this to be under fucking stood because, again, when I say shit like that, everybody's like, oh, well, Steven, this is where you're the problem because you expect perfection. It's actually not. I didn't... I enjoy appreciating a woman's imperfection. Do you? Yes. That word. It doesn't seem that. Yes. It doesn't seem like that, Steve. Yes. Like, I don't like it for women it to always so, try to that's be perfect. Part, we that literally, doesn't that's seem. our. That's the issue. Me and Brittany have both agreed that you mm -hmm. give too much on the look, and like, <laughs> that is so much. not. Look, it's too much. All right. Enough of this horseshit. Enough of this horseshit. Because right. I'm not gonna let women try to fucking punk me into trying to to to. Um, lower I my what I, I what I accept I for that. myself. Hold on, what I accept for myself is my fucking decision. Whenever I don't give a fuck if it offends people or women or whoever that I fucking say and do the shit that I fucking do. Because God for fucking bid, I'm allowed to fucking say I want my woman to be at least this fucking beautiful. Everybody has a standard of a fucking look that they will accept even if it is not perfect. That's all I do. Okay. I do not sit there and say, oh, look at this little Mario. Oh, she's out of here. That's not how it works. I get turned off on a woman's personality first. I get turned off from a fucking woman's just lack of conversation. Those shits fucking make me not want to be with you long before any physical fucking thing ever will. Well, then you need to start giving these seven and sixes a chance. I, and mm -hmm. Their personalities are probably 10, yeah, because 15, 20s, and mm -hmm. you're not giving them a chance because you can't get past that. What are you talking about? You can't get past... Am I? Yeah, yeah. Am I fucking like? Right. Am I fucking sorry? That's what I'm talking like, about. Those, what are you talking you're talking about? about those sixes and sevens who fucking come up to me and try to talk down on me? No. No. Uh, because that's what some of them do. Uh, no. That's all I'm saying. Women that, like, I. Maybe. Okay. So I guess, you know, beauty 
is in the eye to behold her and it's subjective what i might might find beautiful you don't steve but it's I, I would point. I would think that I have a good general idea of what beauty is, and sometimes no, the people you, that I that are thank you that are beautiful or what have you, you're like, oh god, no, she's a cheeseburger away from being fat. I said that about one artist. See what I'm saying? And that's another thing. The body and that's shaming thing. that the you body do. shaming. Yeah. The, oh yeah, because like, I just I'm oh yeah, because I'm just fucking greeted with fucking nothing but compliments from everybody. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not I, listening to this I, dog When shit. I do, what what did what did he say? I'm just, just no. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say shit. Fucking. I just y'all, complimented you, your Hold on. Brittany I just went on a earlier. tangent and said I, I gave you a fucking compliment, man. I gave the fuck all the time. Yeah. Emotional yeah. damage. Yeah. Sure as shit am. No, yes. no, because what I my do today, God. I gave you nothing but fucking complex. You could. This I was why. giving you the dab, my nigga. I was like, all right, fucking anime Steve coming in with the fucking shit. Like, all right K-pop, now, like, K-pop Steve. I was giving you the dab, like, all right, you want to take it as a I gave you insult? mad okay. props this episode over here. I don't like your better than you make shit. I don't know. I'm just mm-hmm. I'm just tired of the double standard and the horse there shit. There isn't a double yes, standard. Yes, one hundred percent is. There's a one hundred percent of double standard not, when it turns because again, this is the only thing that women ever get mad at me. Well, why do you rate us the same way y'all fucking do? I'm just giving it back. I don't rate men. I don't rate yes, men you either. have. I, have I don't rate personally. I do not rate men. You do it in your head. You might not say it out loud. You sure as shit do it in your fucking head. I don't know. I don't be I like, don't well, men. he's a three. He's a yeah. seven. Like, I don't pay that much attention to men. You do. It's either I'm attracted to you or not. There you go. I either think you're cute or I don't. I don't. Like, that's it. And I don't I'm even... not like, oh, look at this. Six, five, yeah, four, you were. two. Two, two, two. No. See, the like, reason why Sam, I, I, I just don't listen to her when she's talking about. I have a really good eye for beauty. I think she so. tried to hook me up with dolphin teeth, girl, in fucking Jamaica. She wasn't bad. She was. Yo, she wasn't bad. She, wasn't bad. she really wasn't bad. I thought she, she had a bad. great Actually, body. Did I wish Mike was here. Did I send you that video? I wish Mike was here. You even said that. I wish Mike was here. Mike, she, she had Mike was first of all, she, was, she looked like she was a natural redhead. I thought that was cool. She had a great body. She, she did not. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she and did. I thought she was fine. I mean, I'm not. What? I thought she I'm was. I'm dead ass serious. Bad. You are fucking liars. I'm dead ass serious. You know, I said that then that she wasn't bad. So I bet you she wasn't as fucked Pocket, up. Yo, She'd Pocket, probably we were more all high. Up. We were all high. I wasn't high then. Yes, day. you were. No, that was the night before. Was it that night? It was. It was that was the last oh. night. Was <laughs> but we it don't matter. If that high. don't matter, see, I, I, so what I'm high, that means I can't tell when someone's <laughs> cute or not. Nigga, fuck out of here. Look. She was cute. She look, was cute. Hold on. You remember that ludicrous song? If I take one more drink, I'm going to end up fucking you. Oh, that T Pain song. No. That's it's, what it's, you want to do. First off, it's ludicrous. No, T Pain was. No, it's ludicrous featuring T Pain. Oh, Jesus Christ. My bad. Oh, yeah, my God, don't disrespect Luda. I wasn't. <coughs> Anyways, you you, you would have did it, okay? No, she I wouldn't had, have. Yes, no, I wouldn't yes. have. Yes, she would have. No, no I would not have. I don't she know why She wasn't bad, yo. Was bad. She even said it me. when she was dancing on you. She's like, what? What's the problem? You don't see all this? Yo, and I said, yuck. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Steve. She's, I was like, and I, she yeah, said, she tried. Want she tried. This? And, I, and what did I tell her? Steve is t- And I told her no. I said no. Steve is terrified of the pussy. Definitely okay? He's not. Terrified of the definitely not. I think so a little bit. I think so. Mouth God for the, you don't get that nickname for no reason. Afraid of what? Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Terrified. <laughs> Fucking ugh. I didn't there think she was bad. Fuck it. It is. Ugh. Look, I don't, it's, it's, this is going to be. Like, it takes women, a lot for me to call you ugly. The women saying, on like, this shit are going to be fucking angry at me anyway. Apparently. Watch, watch. Now it's going to be, yo, Steven slaps bitches now. <laughs> yo, <laughs> Steven don't like deep slaps big, big bitches now. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. <laughs> was yep. she big? <laughs> was she big? Steve? As long as I, she was on the chunkier side, I think. Oh, see? Oh, you see, see what I'm saying? Is that that shit. What the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> with you was fat phobic, man. I'm it's not fat phobic. Yo, you are, though. No, you really not. are. You Hold are. On. Steve, Guys, you are. And this is what so I be no trying to bring up <laughs> every <laughs> fucking time is that you are. You're fat phobic. Like, I'm not fat phobic. Like, yes, you are, Steve. If somebody be like a little bit over I'm traumatized. A little bit a of, big a girl. of what? Because yeah, a big girl. What? Because, to fuck you up before? Because of like, big, listen, what the fuck happened to you? Because a big girl sucker punched me. Oh my god! I'm fucking dead. I can, wait, 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 wait. Hold I on. can't. We hold on. After 
can't I can't I can't be triggered by that. No. Oh no. Well, oh, after yeah. this break, I want you to explain yeah. why I can't be triggered because of that. Okay. That's some bullshit. Right. How dare you? Let's take a break. <laughs> Why wow. can I not? Did you not... eat too many pancakes or something? Like, you were too full? Like, what? See, what? They sucker punched you and what? No, it wasn't they. It was her. <laughs> Say who it was. It was her. She's. No, and, you don't have an issue with. with hold on. Now, mind you. Mind yes. you. She how hit old me. Were you, Steve? I told you I was in middle school. Sounds like. So, how old, how old, how old are you in middle school? I don't fucking remember. And like 14. 13, 14 maybe? Sounds this about right. shaped your life, your whole life from this girl uppercut. No, no, check this out. First off, she didn't uppercut me. She, <laughs> right, she hit me right here. She hit you with face. a haymaker? She fucking swung around and hit me in my face. Come to find out, she thought I did something when it was somebody else who did it. She hit me for no fucking reason. So you were just like, I'm done with big girls for life. Yeah, da, da. No, no, no. I'm no. terrified of no. you bitches. Like, I, because you do be I like, if that girl eats yeah. one cheeseburger, she gonna be a fatty. Literally. You do Literally. be saying shit like that. That's just me being an ass. That's how you really feel. That's not true. All right. Sam, there's only one fat phobic person here, and it's you. Why? We've already proven that. When? Are you serious? Like, I don't remember. Tell me. Every time she, every time we, this subject comes up, she gets so animated with the, uh, you, you fatty, fucking fatties. That's what you be fucking saying. Fatties. I don't say it like saying. that. That's what you say. You be like, shut up, fatty. No one's ever heard Eat that. Eat some come more out. chocolate, fatty. No one's ever heard that come out my mouth. Walk a little slower, fatty. Yo, podcast That's people, what you be I'm saying. Gonna, I'm gonna put that fucking clip out of her <laughs> talking about That's that what shit. You be saying. And then, and then I'm me and Brittany was right here. And saying. then I said, Brittany, do you see the way she's acting? She is vicariously. I'm just saying what she means. What she says. And then Brittany was like, you might be right, Steve. <laughs> she might not like that, people. Look at her. She's on her diet shit now. She was Wait. drinking lemon water. Whoa. She was not having it. What the fuck we talk, You know what's crazy, about? Steve? We talked, to, off, we talked about that on one of the episodes about fat folk. Know. Where you being on a diet and exercising and eating healthier makes you fat phobic. Which is yeah. Like, yeah, that's crazy. That is a reach like a motherfucker. No shit. It's which is why heavy, I keep trying to tell people I'm not fat phobic. You're not? No. All right, <laughs> I'm not afraid of fat people. See, we All set right, you up yeah. for life with the 600 pound shorty, and you said absolutely not. Absolutely not. Man, if shit. I'm not physically attracted to you, my dick won't get hard. I'm sorry. She was face like Janelle. Don't care. I go. So fucking what? You can put that fucking face on a, a million dollar Picasso. I still wouldn't fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Anyways. Jesus. Think that just because you fuck it. Emotional damage. <laughs> I just don't like. I just don't like the way you're making fun of my trauma. In middle school, somebody. All right. In middle school, they hit me. No, no, no. She (laughs) hit me. Was it they? It was she. In middle school, one fatty hit me in the back of the head, and now I'm fucking scared of them. Not scared. I just don't tolerate it. I don't tolerate fatty. (laughs) Fatty. All right, y'all. All right. You wanted to bring up fucking. Where? What if I'm in like a position to where she's trying to get to something? She gets mad at me. She sucker punches me again. Like I'm not gonna do. I'm not dealing with this. Oh Lord! I think anybody would sucker punch you. At any I'm not. Size. No, I'm just. Anyway. I'm about to sucker punch. And I, just got <laughs> and I got sucker punched for no reason. There was a reason. No. Okay. She dude. said, "I." She's like, "My bad. I didn't know it, it wasn't you that didn't do it." She's like, "My bad. I got uh, mad." Look, and so she, she apologized. apologized, and you still and over here but her. Classic. But she, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, so, so women are allowed to just run up and just fuck some and just, she didn't fuck me up. She said, she, well, I don't know. Maybe she did. No, no, no. She got one good clean hit. I, I'm not, I, I pieced her did up. Did she make your nose bleed or something? Like, no, I'm no. just, no, she hit me she right didn't here. She didn't do any of that and you still fractured your cheekbone? No, not even a fracture. It was like a little black and blue right here. That was it. I don't know. That's not like a fracture. <laughs> I, that's not a little shit. serious. It's not like she rocked your shit. No, nah, I've no, nah, I've never had a broken bone in my body. Mm-hmm. Ever. Okay. Not from a fight. Not from falling. Not from nothing. Mm-hmm. But no, she she hit me with a good one. You know. And truthfully, she kind of took the hit like a champ too. So. There we go. We acknowledge that. We Yo, said, I can't. We said that to each other. He's your host, Steve. <laughs> no, I'm dead ass serious. That's what she said. I was like, yo, I'm like, why the <laughs> fuck did you hit me? 
<laughs> she's like, I thought it was you that said this. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, now you know that it's not. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I'm like, fucking psychopath. Steve, if you expect me to believe this is why you don't want to date fucking <laughs> curvy women, then I... It's, I never said anything about curvy women. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. There's a difference between curvy and fucking... I'm sorry. A bowling ball isn't curvy. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking no, about? No, this is taking it. <laughs> All right, you know... If you a know bitch what? is built like a fucking bowling ball, she's not curvy. <laughs> she's fucking round. What's wrong with a round? That's the shape, ain't it? Yes, and it's not the shape that I particularly find nice. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know why that. I don't know That's why fair. this. Look, is, I said it's fair. It's not my fucking preference. It's not your pro. It, it's fair. Jesus Christmas. It's okay. This is so fucking rude. All right. I can't have a preference. It. I can't do shit. <laughs> I didn't say. You could. And then hold on. Do you all understand why I keep trying to tell y'all this is the reason why I want to fucking leave because of this conversation right here? All this shit. <laughs> she, y- none of y'all admitted anything wrongdoing that. The women I did. I just did. The fucking wait. Uh, like, no. No. All you did was say Stephen this, Stephen this, Stephen this. What did this. the women? I we bet Stephen did this. I bet you did this. Niggas ain't get fat because they didn't want you to like them. What are you talking about? That's all I'm saying. You guys have. You guys do not support me. You do not have my back. It all the, me oh my god. We. I think the world on this. I thing. have been complimenting the shit out of you this whole episode, and you still. I, I'm flabbergasted. I'm, you still <laughs> don't hear what I'm saying. I am just. Brittany said you look nice when you walked in. You I know, said that you're supposedly I was taking a dig. Yeah. yeah. And then immediately followed it up with, ah, but you're still kind of fucking pasty. And then yeah, we I all mean, need we fucking all pasty. sun lotion right now. We all need self tanner. All right. We all pasty. <laughs> Why? The sun ain't out here. It's springtime. We just finished. I'm I'm sorry. I embrace like this. This is the minority white podcast right, right. now. That's yeah, how white we are. Like this shit, okay? <laughs> Look, Calm I, down. I embrace my beautiful. I don't know. I'm Caucasian right now. So whenever I darken up, is when I darken up. I'm not going to purposely do it. All right. Just the, for what? No, it's cool. For All vanity right, sake? All right, right nigga, fuck. Jesus. Stay pasty. All right? <laughs> shit. I want somebody to love me for me. All pasty right, and all. Steve, pasty so, and all. You, you better head over to the Philippines. That's what I'm saying. All right, now. He's your host, He's your host. <laughs> not like you fucking fake ass women, fake ass weaves, fake ass fucking Now, here we go. Fake ass, oh! fake ass, ass motherfucking titties, here we go, fake guys. ass motherfucking asses, fake ass motherfucking ribs, fake ass motherfucking everything. And got the nerve to fucking say some shit about a motherfucker who ain't got a fucking fake thing on it. I refuse to ever listen to a woman who has fake shit on telling me that about anything. That necklace fake. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, honestly, I'm kidding. It's not. It's even not. if it was, I still wouldn't care. It has sentimental value. <laughs> it's not. All right, yo. All right. All right. Yo. Any final thoughts? Yes, I love everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. I really do. I really do. I don't know why you guys just got done saying, "Oh, Steven's an absolute sweetheart." I'm don't done. Let any I can't of even. This, first don't of all, let any of this fool I you. I can't even compliment you because you do shit like this. Because every compliment, there's like an uppercut. You know what it is? It's like a right cross that that girl gave me. Every time there's a compliment, there's a right cross coming. No, I actually believe these things, motherfucker. But shit, you make it hard. I don't trust women. I don't trust you. Yeah, you don't. I really yeah, don't that's hard. all it is. You just don't trust. I really so don't. You don't I, trust us. I don't. Anyway. I don't. But I love y'all ladies anyway. We love you too. Man. I love my friends. <clears throat> I love my dates. I love those whom I date. Okay. So, you guys are all queens. Yes, you did it better than I did. Anyway. I told he you. is your host. I really think I was a black woman in my former life. Maybe you were. I really think a I bl- was. A bitter black woman. but Very def- angry. Definitely. Very definitely. angry. Definitely. Mm, Very. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I started a revolution at some point. No. I, I probably. I think I did. I really think I did. Okay. Somewhere in my past life, I think I started a revolution. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one, but I'll find one. Sam, you want to give out the soul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so listen, y'all. Fucking so, rushing me off. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, y'all. So when I seen, a, you know, I, I went to the funeral and you always see family members you haven't seen in a while. And I was giving, trying to give them um, the YouTube, but whatever, something's up with you guys, YouTube, I'm talking to y'all with the algorithm. Because I tried to search it like four ways and it was not coming up. So the only thing I could think of, guys, is if you're having trouble finding us, just Google minority plus one or go to our individual instagram pages and facebook all the links are there in the bios so it's minority plus one all one word podcast really i 
that is fucking weird. I'm about to check that real quick. Well, you're already following, so it's gonna come right up. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, no, it, literally, it was not coming up at all, and I was like, "Damn, YouTube, your algorithm's all fucked up. You can't find us at all." So, like I said, just Google it. Or um, go to our individual Instagrams, which are right on the screen. To fo- they're all in the bios. All right. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> what about you, Britt? Because you've been giving me daggers all day. So go what ahead. are you talking about, daggers all day? Looking at me with that. Steven. I'm disappointed. Look. Because I ain't trying to get sick, nigga. And I'm, I'm not sick right now. <laughs> if, I, if, I get, if I get stomach issues oh, later, you, I'm going to be expecting a text. Um, and prepare for anyway. me to laugh. <laughs> Uh, queen underscore B underscore XO Instagram. All right, y'all. As for me, uh, Instagram, Steven dot coil dot S C Facebook. My first name, my last name. It's my real name. There's no motherfucking gimmick needed. So since I'm not feeling so hot, ladies, I'm going to let one of you guys do the in wrapping up part. Because I don't feel like I can get, I can do justice. Mm-hmm. All right. okay. We do it together. Yeah, sure. All right. In, In wrapping, wrapping up. up. <laughs> he is your host, Steve. I'm, I'm Sam, Sam Crystal. Crystal. It's and, and as, as always, always, please stereotype, stereotype responsibly. responsibly. And we'll be back next week, y'all, with another motherfucking episode. Peace. 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 Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of the Minority Plus One Podcast. If you want to be a part of the crew, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. We are available on all streaming platforms so you never have to miss out. As always, please stereotype responsibly. We love you. We appreciate you. Peace, y'all. Shia. Yeah.